for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Everyone wants to be an Israelite, but nobody wants to endure the pain and suffering an Israelite face every single day of their life. The strangers admire the many blessings the Most High promised to his people. They want to include themselves in those blessings. Some strangers would never trade places with an Israelite, but they will take the blessings. The world is hostile towards the original people. In the stranger's mind, they want to have the abundant life in this physical realm, as well as in the coming kingdom of the Messiah thousand year reign. I would like to say to the strangers and non-Israelites who wants equal share in the blessings the Most High promised to his people, the Israelites. Choose this day whom you're going to serve, the Most High, the Elohim of Israel, or the pagan gods you have been worshiping in organized religion. Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The reason I ask the strangers to choose this day whom you're going to serve, you cannot proclaim that you serve and love the Elohim of Israel and turn around and accept the pagan church doctrines. If you are truly awakened to who the Israelites are and how deceptive the church have been, in addition, you understand that Satan has deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You would humble yourself and do as the scriptures state, cleave to an Israelite. In the end times, the strangers have an important role. You will help the true chosen people of the Most High return to their rightful homeland. In addition, the strangers who truly accept and serve the Elohim of Israel will be in the kingdom. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. You do not have to be an Israelite to inherit the coming kingdom. However, non-Israelites will not have the same inheritance as an Israelite. Before we get into details about the strangers' role in the coming kingdom, we have to go back to organized religion. The pagan church has indoctrinated Israelites and non-Israelites to doctrines of devils. The same way the Israelites was kept in the dark about who they are, the kingdom of darkness have done the same to non-Israelites. It was important to the synagogue of Satan to create a religion that no one would reject. If you give the people false hope, they will accept the deception. The Christian interpretations of the scripture is wrong. The people who refer to themselves as Bible scholars do not have the Holy Spirit. Because they do not have the Holy Spirit, they are not qualified to interpret the scriptures. The scriptures are sealed. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. It is one thing to read the scriptures and give your understanding of the scripture. It is another story when the Holy Spirit is revealing the message behind the scripture. The Holy Spirit interpretation supersede every other interpretation out there. The Most High must give you understanding, for wisdom and understanding comes from the Most High. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. 
Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Today, we have multiple religious organizations proclaiming their interpretation of the scriptures are accurate. The Most High is not communicating with people whose motives are evil. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High will examine your motives. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. A group of Roman Catholic bishops appointed by the Emperor Constantine, the Council of Nicaea, decided which books to add or remove from the Bible. The Most High did not order men to interfere with his scriptures. When the Emperor Constantine decided to change the Sabbath from the seventh day to Sunday, the kingdom of darkness inspired the change. The Most High did not order his people to celebrate Christmas. The Christmas tradition is rooted in pagan beliefs. The Most High is not dealing with people who are an enemy to him. Therefore, those who conspire to alter the scriptures and groups who exalted themselves higher than the Most High do not have the Holy Spirit operating in them. Because they do not have the Holy Spirit, their interpretation of the scriptures is inaccurate. The doctrines they have manipulated into your minds are not the truth. The scriptures reveal the Holy Spirit gives us truth and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The synagogue of Satan do not have the truth in them because the Holy Spirit is not operating in them. This is how they were able to help Satan deceive the whole world. No one who have awakened from their spiritual slumber should carry the doctrines of devils rooted in the Roman Catholic Church into the awakening. The Most High is not the founder of religion. You would have to allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Most High must deprogram you from all the filth, put his spirit in you and reveal the interpretation of the scriptures to you. The reason there are many doctrines in the awakening, many people appointed themselves to teach. The synagogue of Satan has infiltrated the awakening by planting agents among us. This will cause division and confusion. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Confusion is coming from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High said a kingdom divided or a household cannot stand. Many Israelites and strangers do not know how to fight back in the spirit. They attack each other instead of attacking the spirit of confusion and division. Israelites, can you discern how the kingdom of darkness operate? If you have not seen the message on John 3.16, I recommend that you watch that video. John 3.16 is the number one misinterpreted scripture. The synagogue of Satan used John 3.16 to deceive many into accepting the Messiah that came in his own name. The Messiah that came in his own name is not the Elohim of Israel in the flesh. He is a pagan God, the kingdom of darkness exalted to gain the worship they seek. In addition to establish covenants with Israelites and strangers unknowingly. John 3.16 was not pushed on the masses to display the Most High's love. It was pushed on the people like every other agenda the synagogue of Satan pushed to get you to forge covenants with the kingdom of darkness. In addition to better control the people. The false hope the Christian religion has pushed on the masses is not of the Elohim of Israel. The awakening is exposing the lies that has been told throughout the earth for multiple generations. Most importantly, the Most High is waking up his chosen people, the Israelites, to who they are so that they can return to serving him. In addition to fulfill scripture, all things written must be fulfilled. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Not only is the Most High is waking up his people, but the strangers he has reserved for himself, he is also waking up. The strangers the Most High has called are humble servants who do not boast against the natural branches. The small minority of strangers are fighting for the people of the Most High. 
Those strangers are the ones that will cleave to the Israelites and be in the kingdom. The kingdom of darkness managed to bring division between the strangers and the Israelites. Satan sent the spirit of jealousy on the strangers to cause strife. The strangers that say they love the Most High are confusing the Elohim of Israel with the Messiah that came in his own name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Many people, including the Israelites, have accepted the Messiah that came in his own name through the synagogue of Satan's doctrines. Presently in the awakening, the Israelites are getting to know the real Elohim of Israel, his statutes and commandments, not forgetting his laws. The strangers are confusing the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob with the Messiah that came in his own name. The promises the Messiah that came in his own name made to the world are not valid. The strangers are taking the false promises made by the Messiah to secure residency in the coming kingdom. Strangers, you do not need to hang on to the false ideology given to you by the pagan church to inherit the kingdom. The Most High would never reject anyone who serve him and obey his laws, statutes, and commandments. The Most High often say he would be a father to the fatherless, defend the widow, and he loved the strangers. He doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow, and loveth the stranger, in giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Strangers, you do not need to bring the doctrines from the pagan church to defend your position or try to include yourself. The Most High would not reject a stranger that served him wholeheartedly. It is important to allow the Most High to renew your mind. The God of Israel you learn about in the pagan church is not the same as Yah, the Elohim of Israel, that is waking up his people today. Many heathens and strangers gravitate to the God the kingdom of darkness created because of the benefits. The church told you that you have replaced the Israelites and you are spiritual Israel. You can never replace the Israelites. The Most High did not forsake his people. He will redeem his people. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. It is important for you, strangers, to let go of the doctrines taught to you by the pagan church. Those doctrines sound good, but it's wrapped in deception. Due to self-righteousness, many people believe they are close to the Most High. The truth is they are far from Him. The false doctrines is causing many strangers to sin. Through their lack of knowledge, they are breaking the commandments of the Most High. The Most High say you should not covet. Many strangers covet the Israelite inheritance. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Strangers, you have to be careful. The Elohim of Israel is not the false deity that accept everything and forgive you for every sin you committed, even if you do not repent. The real Elohim of Israel do not play. If you are going to serve him, you have to serve him his way, not your way. You cannot have one foot in the pagan church and the other in the awakening. You cannot serve two masters. You would have to choose. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Many strangers are serving two masters. If what religion is offering you is more appealing to you, then you have made your decision. If what you're learning in the awakening is hate speech and races, you have made your choice. It is perfectly fine if you choose to serve the God of your fathers. Do not force your belief on people who have another perspective on the scriptures. The awakening is for the people who wants to get to know the real Elohim of Israel and find truth. The world will never accept the wisdom of the Most High. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. I have seen comments made by the strangers saying, Is there any hope for me? 
I am biracial. Would I be considered an Israelite? If you are reading the scripture and truly serving the most high, you would know that the strangers always had an opportunity to serve the Elohim of Israel. There was never any restriction until religion. If you have to ask, is there any hope for you? Then you are not reading the scriptures. The most high is with those who serve him in the spirit and in the truth. If you are truly walking with the most high and serving him, you would not ask that question because his perfect peace that surpasses all understanding would comfort you. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Asking if there is any hope for you is the question you need to ask the Most High. The Most High has a plan for the strangers and he has a plan for his people, the Israelites. You would have to accept the plans the Most High have for you. The Most High can use the strangers in a mighty way, but you would have to humble yourself. You do not have to be an Israelite to serve the Most High. To be an Israelite is not glamorous at all. The scriptures reveal many people, including the Israelites, serve the Most High with their lips, but their heart is far from the Most High. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. One of the biggest mistakes the strangers make is coming against the people of the Most High for revealing the truth the way it should have been taught from the beginning. Satan deceive you, not the Israelites who are returning to their culture heritage. It may appear as if the Most High has forsaken his people, the Israelites. The Israelites are the apple of his eyes. The Most High loved the Israelites and he will redeem his people. The Most High did not cast his people out, nor did he replace them. When the time of the heathens are fulfilled and the Most High is ready to purge the evil out of this world, Yah will judge the nations for the mistreatment of his people. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, and parted my land. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Everyone has been coming against the Israelites, undermining them, and treating the Israelites poorly. Just because the Most High has yet to take vengeance for his people, it does not mean the Most High is pleased with you. The Most High did not give you permission to say or do what you want to his people. The awakening is not about your emotions. Only a stranger that do not understand his or her role wants to debate and throw stones at the Israelites. The Most High know your heart and every intent. This generation of Israelites and prior generations was born into captivity. None of us truly know what it means to be free. If you were honest with yourself, you would acknowledge how the serpent seed and many other heathens are oppressing the Israelites. The strangers that serve the Elohim of Israel understand his or her role. They are not seeking to steal the Israelites' inheritance for themselves. The strangers will assist in the end time to get the Israelites back to their homeland. The strangers that assist with the Israelites returning to their homeland, the Israelites will possess them as servants and handmaids. I believe the reason the strangers do not want to hear that they will be servants, they don't want to be treated the same way the Israelites are being mistreated all over the world. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High is not mock. A person will reap what they sow. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. The Most High's kingdom is of righteousness, not evil like the present reign of the heathens with the kingdom of darkness as their leader. If you need clarification, seek the Most High for the answers. You do not need to come against the natural branches to be a part of the awakening. Do not let Satan mislead you. There is a lot of misunderstanding between the Israelites and the strangers. The misunderstanding comes from the false doctrines taught to the people worldwide. This is why it is important to purge those satanic doctrines out of your life. Do not bring those doctrines into the awakening. 
coming against the people of the most high is like coming against the most high himself. I do not believe many strangers understand what they are doing. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You do not want to experience the wrath of the most high. You have been taught the most high is love and passive. The most high is also wrath. He means what he say. Strangers, if you are truly seeking the most high, then you would humble yourself, cleave to an Israelite and live in peace with the Israelites. There is no need to fight. Everyone will inherit the portion the Most High have for him or her. No one who served the Elohim of Israel would give room to the spirit of hate, strife, and envy. Your focus would be on how to please the Most High. Do not let Satan deceive you into believing you have the right to come against the natural branches. Whereas the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. 